From your startup screen, click on Open. Browse to your Chapter 10 folder and open the file Chapter 10 Ducts. From the project browser, scroll down to the HVAC Duct Floor Plans Level 2 HVAC Plan and open the view. Scroll in to the north part of the building. In a previous exercise, we saw how to place duct placeholders. And in fact, in this exercise, I'm just going to run through that again. Select the duct placeholder tool. Make sure that I've got rectangular duct selected. And just create a run of placeholder duct. It's that simple. Well, it's obviously not that simple, but you get my meaning. We can create a run very easily. We can do exactly the same with the duct tool. Click on the duct tool. Here we've got rectangular duct. It's the same duct type. From the options bar, take a look at what's going on here. We had the same properties for the placeholder duct. The width and height. The offset from our working level. And if we look at the properties palette, we've got justification, center and middle. Our reference level, level two. Well, that's the level we're working on. And we've just changed the offset to 3200. And just as the placeholder duct had, we have a system type. So if I go and place my run, you can see that as I draw the duct, it creates the run for me as a double line. And if I were to create a section through here, and let's create a section, let's double click on the section head, we'll get to see the duct itself. Let's just change the scale to medium level of detail. And here we can see the placeholder duct and the full size duct. Let's go back to the plan view. So with ducts, there's a really neat feature. If I go to create a duct again, this time I've changed the properties to the rectangular duct mitered elbows with T's. I'm going to go with the system type, supply air, just the same as the one I've already created. Leave the offset at 3200 and draw my duct crossing the previous one. Revit cuts the ductwork and places a fitting in the middle, which is kind of what you expect, but there's more. If I go back to the duct tool and this time change the system, it doesn't matter which type of system, but let's go for exhaust. My offset is 3200. The duct type is the same. If I draw that duct in the same elevation through the same place, it doesn't connect into the supply air system. It is, of course, occupying the same space. And that's something that we can manage later on in the project using the Collaborate tools.